Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Rajendra Agrawal. Today we will discuss about SAP ABAP. Now first of all SAP. SAP stands for System Application Products. Now coming to System Application Products. SAP consists of different types of models such as MM, Material Management, then SD, Sales and Distribution, FI, etc. Now we will see SAP ABAP. Now SAP ABAP. In this lecture we will see the basic of SAP ABAP. SAP ABAP, to understand SAP ABAP, first we need to understand RICE FW. In most of the interviews or in most of the courses, they say RICEF, but it is RICEFW. W means workflow. Now, what is RICEF? This is the basis of SAP ABAP. Now, RICEF means Report Interface Conversation Enhancement Forms and Workflow. First, it is applicable to all models. Development of this item will be default separated in large projects. A separate team will work on the development of programming script etc. Now we will see first reports. RICEFW First is reports. Reports The development of customized reports in ABAP Report Painting or PW Now reports are basically development of customized reports in SAP ABAP. Reports consist of three types. First is classical report Second is interactive report. Third is ALV report. ALV, the full form of ALV report is ABAP list viewer. All these reports we will see one by one in next video. Then we will see interface. Interfaces, some business processes may be maintained in external system. Some business processes may be maintained in external system. For example, payroll, fixed asset, dispute management, etc. The external activities may need posting in SAP. The interface programs are developed to automate the posting in SAP. So interfaces are basically some business processes may be maintained in external system. So interfaces are used. Now interfaces are used. Now how interfaces are used? Interfaces are used when two similar classes have a method with same name but the functionalities are different from each other. Interfaces are used. So next we will see conversations. Now in conversation, conversation of legacy data to loadable format in SAP. The process consists of extraction of legacy data from legacy system. The transformation of data into loadable LSMW format and loading the data in SAP. This activity importing and need accuracy. Hence a separate team may be assigned for conversation alone. Now in conversation, uh, conversation basically means or in simple terms Conversation means transferring of data, transferring of data from one system to another system, from ERP system to non-ERP system or non-ERP system to ERP system. Conversation is used. Now the best example for conversation is BDC. The best example for conversation is BDC means best data communication. Now enhancement. Generally in cases of large implementation of global templates, blueprints will be prepared and followed. If a plant or a company code need to need additional configuration to meet their country specific or plant specific requirements, the template will be enhanced with new configuration. Enhancement in simple word. Enhancement is additional or modifying the logic of SAP standard program without modifying it. The enhancement consists of customer exit, business transaction event, BTI and business adding, BADI. And if the enhancement is not enough, we can do modification. Enhancement in simple words, it's just adding or modifying the logic of SAP standard program, but without modifying it. Forms. Now coming to forms. Development of layout for invoice, account statement, delivery no notice, etc. Forms are used. Now forms, forms basically are used. They, they are the tools used for printing and sending the documents. This tool is useful in development forms, PDF files, emails, documents for the internet. The tool provides an interface to build and maintain the layout and the logic of a form. Now, workflow. Development of approval flow logic in SAP. For example, GL master data changes should follow specific approval processes. How the flow logic works in SAP ABAP? It defines the workflow. Now, coming to SAP ABAP, first we need to understand ERP. What is ERP? Enterprise Resource Planning. Now what is ERP? So in simple words, suppose we have a company 
and in that company we have different types of modules or different type of plants like different types of department like uh, sales and distribution department programming department then uh, accounting department xyz all the data which is gathered in the different departments if suppose he wants to check the department data now if uh, he want to check the accounting department data due to non erp systems it consists of different database like each department have its own different database so it create a problem to ceo and the company as well so to overcome this we use erp system erp means enterprise resource planning in enterprise resource planning it have only one database all the data from different departments it will store in one single database so it will be beneficial for company and ceo as well to see all the documents all the related documents it is useful for ceo and company as well to grow in future so erp is used now coming to sap app ABAP stands for Advanced Business Application Programming. ABAP is fourth generation programming language used for development and customization purpose in SAP software. Currently posting along with Java as the main language for SAP application server programming. Most of the programs are executed under control of runtime system. Currently it is positioned along with Java as the main language for SAP application server program. Uh, now sap program consists of comments abap statements every statement in abap begins with keyword and ends with a period and abap is not a case sensitive abap is not case sensitive it is not a case sensitive case sensitive means if you if you use capital letter or small letter it won't bother in sap abap programming now, the latest version in sap abap is sap netweaver 7.5 sp19 currently we are using s currently we are using sap netweaver 7.5 si19 now if we open sap app now this is the photo first it consists of menu bar then standard toolbar it is the standard toolbar it consists of different type of like back option exit option etc it is standard toolbar third is title bar fourth is application toolbar and this is comment bar see this is the comment bar here you can write the t codes to open next to open the next screen and the last one is status bar here we can see all the comments all the messages if we run a program it will di it will directly show in this status bar and this sap demo version this is the sap screen here you can see menu bar standard toolbar title bar application toolbar comment bar status bar here you can see favorites favorites consist of sap like suppose the programming or the folder which we want to save you can save here directly by using favorites due to this we do not require to write uh, transaction codes directly we can click on this and uh, you can directly open the folder for the program now the first non comment line in a program begins with word report the report will always be first line of any executable program created the statement is followed by the program name which was created previously the line is then terminated with a full stop all the sap programs is created by using report then program name then statement and it is end by using full stop now we will see colon notation see write abhishek now with colon notation suppose we have suppose we want to write write abhishek comma sap and see write colon colon the best way to write is write colon abhishek comma then uh, then enter tab sap full stop not like that not like write colon then again abhishek full stop then again write colon sap abap full stop it is not the way it is not the way to write now comments comment start from star using star you can comment the line now blank lines skip line is used now we will see sap abap error handling standard now message handling processes various depending on the type of programming functionality requirement run time in, in sap abap it consists of different type of messages like suppose if you if you have uh, created a program and in that program you find a error 
automatically your message will shown in your screen in status bar it is shown that you have error in your program so with the help of messages we will see the messages above program you should use the message statement to output message to inform the necessary runtime activity for executable program the message id should be defined in a report statement like i the code i it it typically means it means information press enter to continue action will be press enter to continue now it describes that it contains the information of operations already performed and you can safely ignore without any consequences so i so i code means information w is for warning warning correct possible if the process information of the consequences of a certain actions the message cannot be ignored but the user can choose whether or not to make correct or bypass the message you can bypass the warning it its code is w now e e for error correction required in the error you need to correct the sentence you need to correct the program so that it will run properly now the description of e is it contains information about the processing errors now abet abet mean transaction terminated it provides information about the processing error but the processing cannot be resumed now exit it its code is x x for exit the transaction terminated with short term it provides no processing information but the but rather a stack dump for state of system now success success stands for s its code is s that uh, success means you have created a proper program in that program you do not have any error so you can continue the process it contains normal information which is shown in screen this was the first part in next video we will see loop control then variables and all these things in our next part thank you for watching bye